Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Python. In today's tutorial we are going to use try, accept and finally block in Python. In order to demonstrate that example we are going to use the read file where we are going to open a file, read the file and close the file. So let's start. So as I said, we'll use the try, accept and finally block. So we'll first start with the writing try block. Once you write the try block, we'll, uh, let's, let's try to open a file. So um, in this uh, example, we are going to read a property file, a day3.properties file, which is present in the same directory or the same package where our current code is exists, uh, current code exists. So we'll use that. <clears throat> so how to open the file? So you have to use open command or open function. We have to pass the file name that is d3.properties and the mode. In this case, the R is nothing but the, we are going to read the file. Once we get that file, we'll assign to the variable called as a day3 underscore file. And then we'll start reading our file. In order to read the file, we'll convert this day3 file into a read lines, which will give us the list of values present in the day3.properties file. We'll read in the variable called as a <coughs> config. And over this config, we are going to print. So what will happen is uh, when we read this file, we'll read one line at a time by using this print statement. So this is our logic. At this time, we are not going to close this file. We'll see what what will be the right location or the right position where <coughs> we can close the file. If you remember, the construct of try except block is first we have to write the try block, then the business logic, and then the except. Except is like some error or some exception occurred during your uh, logic execution that will be thrown and it will be represented in user friendly message manner. So, so we'll use this accept construct and here we'll just print some generic message because at this point we are not aware what all possible errors might be occurring in the logic which we wrote in the try block. So we'll just mention some generic message that is error occurred. So you can see the accept is also very generic. It's not like specific exception it is catching. But we'll see uh, over the time how we can capture the specific exception also. <coughs> the next line, <coughs> next thing is we have to write the finally block. So finally, what is the purpose of this finally block? Whenever we have the um, any resources like database connection or the file, these are called the resources where the memory is used, where the connect network connection is used. Such connections, whenever we open, we have to close those. And it is always good idea to close such resources in a finally block. Finally block is always executed, whether it's a successful execution of the try block or if there is an error in the in the try block. In all cases, the final block is executed. So it is called always good idea to close the resources in the finally block. So let's go ahead and close it. Close our file which we just opened. Very simple. File name dot close. So this will close our file. Let's try to execute this program and see uh, whether this is going to execute the program or not. So let's check what are the values as present. So let's add some more values like day three dot is current, or we can just add version also. One point one doesn't matter what value we have. We are just going to put some value, and here we'll just run this program. We just saw we wrote three blocks here. Uh, one is the try block where the actual logic goes we wrote the logic opening the file and close uh, reading the file they accept if in case any error occurs we'll catch in the accept 
and the finally block to close the resources very simple program we'll just execute it so we can see now <coughs> file has been successfully opened we read it and we just printed the content of that file and finally it is closed in order to demonstrate how the execution happens let's do some print statements so i'll write here the print statement and mention that inside try block so this will be executed always try block is always executed because that is our business logic i'll also mention here as a separate statement inside except block and finally we also we're going to write a statement in the finally that is inside finally block finally block is very uh, uh, very commonly used in real time project implementation so i would recommend to do the practice on that so here we can see the try block is executed then our file reading is happen and then finally it's executed so it's working fine as expected let's try to produce some error in order to reproduce error i'll just type some random content so what this means is there is no such file exists so it show it should throw some error so let's see and we can see if this error is not captured name error is not defined so it it goes to the try block first big and then it goes to the except block because the error has occurred and then it goes to the finally block so all three blocks we can see it's getting printed so in success case we saw the try block and finally block we we are able to see the print statements and in the error case we see the try block final block as well as the except block so by this way we can say okay this final block is always executed so it is always good idea to put closing of the resources in the finally block now we'll see how can we capture this so we'll just pick this name name error and capture here as error and i will just mention error occur use colon so you can use any name and this time again run it we also have the file not found so let's capture that also first and execute it so we got the try block we got we went into the exception block and inside finally block and it says no such file or directory during handling up about exception there is another so it it can't have multiple exception within the same file so it got the type error to structure okay so here some error happened so that's the reason did not throw did not respond correctly i'll just mention here and let's try to execute so now we got the proper error message so inside try block inside except block we got the except block and then error occurred and it says error number 2 no such a file or directory so there is no such file present so if i see this proper message i may look at the what exact problem with this code right so also um, it is going to the final block so that means it is closing the file also so all these things are happening properly on the same line we can write our business logic so our code will grow in this try block the, the except and finally will be have will have the minimum code it is always a good idea to use try except and finally block i hope this simple tutorial will help you to understand the need of the try except and finally block mm. sometimes in the interview also ask what is the need what is the use of the finally block in try except 
logic or try accept handling if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about python thank you have a nice time